Hey, what's up? It's Jake from Minimal Audio, and I am stoked today to finally get to show you guys Current. Because Current is such a large product, we've decided to break down our walkthrough video into a series of shorter videos on specific topics. In this video, I'll be walking you through the overall instrument as well as showing you the general workflow of Current. We're going to explore the three most important tabs of Current, which are the Engine, Effects, and Stream tabs. Then we're going to take a quick look at what your workflow might look like when you're working with Current. We'll go explore some sounds in the stream, load them into the instrument, and make some sounds. Cool, so let's get started. All right, so here we are inside of Ableton, and I'm going to go ahead and open up Current. So when you first open current, what you're going to see right off the bat is the engine tab. The engine tab consists of two spectral wavetables, a granular oscillator, an additive sub oscillator, and a sampler. There's also two multimode filters, which you can operate in series or parallel mode. And there's a dedicated FM AM panel for routing between all the different generators. Below that is the modulation toolbar. And here you can pick from your main amp envelope, nine dynamic modulator slots and keyboard modulation envelope, the LFO, the curves, the followers, and the keyboard modulators. Current also supports MPE mode, which you can enable right there. Below that, we have the chord generator and the arpeggiator, which you can also change the routing on by dragging them around like so. To the right, we have the key control where you can change the scale for the ARP and chord modules, global pitch, glide time, mono and legato modes. Moving on, we have the effects tab. Right now, there are eight effects available for you inside of Current. We have Rift, Morph EQ, Cluster Delay, and Fuse Compressor, as well as a new Swarm Reverb, Ripple Phaser, Hybrid Filter, and Flex Chorus. We also have about four more effects unreleased right now, which we'll be adding to Current post-launch. From the rack on the left, you can click plus and then select any effect inside of Current. Every effect inside of Current also features uh, sub-presets as well. So you can click the randomize to select a sub-preset there and then start some modulation. Another cool thing about the rack is that you can actually select the same effect multiple times. And you can drag and drop to change the routing. On the top left here, you can also save presets for the entire chain and disable all the effects at once. The last tab inside of Current is the Stream. The Stream is a cloud-connected content platform built right inside of Current. It provides instant access to a large library of presets, wavetables, and sounds, which you can download directly inside of the instrument. From any of the preset wavetable or sounds tabs, you can explore packs, download their content, as well as preview the sounds. You can also filter by tags, shuffle the results, view your own content, view your favorited content, view only your downloaded content, and you can also search by uh, text. And just like we were able to do that for presets, we can also do that for wavetables. as well as individual sounds. Just. Cool, so now that we've done a quick walkthrough of Current, I just wanna give you all a sense of what the workflow might look like as well. So coming back to the stream, um, it's important to note that we have a couple different ways of accessing content inside of Current. So from the engine view, we have what we call our, the engine pop-ups. So the engine pop-ups, which uh, are here for wavetables, uh, samples, as well as presets, are displaying only the local content which you have already downloaded previously inside of the stream. Uh, we wanted to make sure that when we developed the instrument and the stream that they both felt um, complete on their own right. I mean, it would be kind of irritating if you were, you know, working on music and you wanted to flip through some wavetables and you had to, you know, shift context and go download stuff, right? So from this view, uh, you can freely just, you know, have the regular typical um, 
synthesis workflow uh, with the added benefit of we have some uh, tags in here and you can filter um, on top of the traditional packs. Now let's say we're starting a, a new track or a new sound or you know we're not really quite sure where we want to take it quite yet. We just want to you know click around, get inspired, find find a new direction to go in. So starting from the presets, we might come into this stuttered vocal pack and you know listen to some of these. And we have the option now, so we can download the ones which we like. We can uh, favorite the ones we do like. We can also load from this view as well. While you're loading presets in the stream, you still have access to the four powerful macros for that preset over here. So. Cool, so that can be a great way to get started. But now you might just decide, hey, I like all these sounds. You can just click download all right here. And later when you are working inside of current and you know you have all your content, you can just always you know, be from the engine view, open up the preset, pop up, click on stuttered vocal, and all of the sounds from the stream are available right here as well. So it's worth noting that when you download presets for current, you're not just downloading um, individual patches, you're also downloading samples and wavetables for those patches as well. And we can also flip the scale of that preset here. And when flicking through presets, we can also lock the scale here for anything that has a chord. So I'm gonna reset the patch here and we'll go back to the stream. And let's say we're wanting to focus on, you know, the granular engine. So we might come to the sounds tab and look for a sound which will be good for working with granular. Let's see, I think this one. So that's a great patch, so, or that's a great sound for, this, for the granular. So we can download that and then just click grains and it'll pull it up in the granular over here. Uh, this one is in the root of C, but it'll also pull the sample's root tag and get everything set up to work with that sample correctly. So out of the gate, it sounds like. And now we can granularize it, so let's do. This. And just because we downloaded that sample from the stream, it's also always going to be available for us inside of this bloom pack in the future melancholy feedback. And we can go ahead and favorite it. And if we like it, it'll stay there for later. One last time, the workflow for the wavetables, same deal. Come in, you know, find a pack that we like. And we can click oscillator A, it'll download the sample, put it in oscillator A. and become available inside of the content pop-up as well. All right, so that's a quick introduction to the views inside of Current and the general workflow when working with Current. For a deeper dive into the individual components of Current, check back for later videos in this series.